Hello everyone, this is a presentation for the 6825 Pattern Recognition and Intelligence System. And the project name is Imagement Enhancement based on Deep Learning. First, I will introduce the problem under study. What, what is image enhancement? The, def the definition of image enhancement is that the image enhancement is a procedure of improving the quality and the information content of original data before processing. Uh, image enhancement is a well-defined um, task. There are many subtasks of it, for example, the image super resolution, which focuses on the improve of which focuses on the improvement of resolution, and also the low light image enhancement image deblurring and dehazing. Uh, this, this, this task is always used on automobile to remove the moisture from the images it captured from camera. And also image demurring, image denoising. And uh, the last one is image quality assessment, which is used to evaluate the improvement of image, in, in, image enhancement because we want to make the image looks good. It's not an uh, objective feeling, but a subjective. So we need to use some matrix to evaluate the improvement. That's the image quality assessment. And next, I will introduce the existing approaches. There are many methods for the image enhancement, and many algorithms can be used for that. Uh, but it, they can be summarized into two kinds of methods. The first kind of method is classical digital image process. For example, the gamma correction, the histogram equalization. This method focuses on the process of the signals from the images. They use some um, thing like Fourier changes to the images. And with the development of narrow network, deep learning method shows they have the better improvement for the image enhancement. First, we use convolutional net narrow network for the image enhancement. And then with the development of GAN network, we also tried to use GAN on image enhancement. Uh, in GAN, there are one generator and one discriminator. Our aim is to use the generator to generate the images that can fool the discriminator, that makes the discriminator cannot classify which image is our original image and which one is the image after processed. After doing that, our generator can produce the images in high quality. And we also began to use transformer and encoder decoder for the image enhancement task. And then next, I will introduce some state-of-the-art model used in image enhancement. For example, the ESD Night L. It focuses on the image demurring. And the U-Former is a new model that heretically encoded decoder network using the transformer block and also the LCDP night. It focuses on the local color distribution pre order for image enhancement. And also some new model like DIFT. It uses multicolor space loops, including HSV, CIE Lab, and RGB. They use these color space loops simultaneously to train their model. And next, I will introduce our own experiment. Uh, for our experiment, we use the DPEB dataset, uh, which is a dataset that contains the photo both from smartphone like iPhone, Blackberry, and also some photos from professional camera, the DSLR camera. So the pair of uh, pictures can be used to train the model to build a connection from low quality images which took from smartphone to the high quality images which are which took from the 
professional camera. Uh, there, uh, we defined, we 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 train we train uh, we trained our model by defined define the three kind of loses in our objective function. First is the loose of content, and the second is the loose of texture, and the third is the loose of color. We use different model to train the three kind of loose. Uh, first, I will, I will introduce the loose of uh, and color. Uh, for the loose of color, we use a uh, we use a 30, 13 layer ResNet. Uh, the ResNet can help us build the connection from our original picture to the high quality picture. And we also add a, a loose of TV as a target as a generalization uh, because, and because to, to, to generalize our objective function. And for the loose of uh, texture, we use the GAN network. Uh, the GAN network was used to uh, fold the gen discriminators up. The, the, the image it produced is the, the same as the high quality images. And the generator of our GAN network is just the network we used to train the uh, loose of color the 30 layer rest net work. Uh, as a result, the discriminator in the GAN network will observe all the target image and the enhanced images. And then the texture details in the images. And for the content loose, we just use the pre-trained VGG 19, uh, 19 network to, to re record all the content in semi tag information in the images. Make sure that the basic information in the images cannot be changed. Uh, for they have this this kind of the all, all of the all of the loose have different weight. Uh, we want to focus on the uh, basic in information in the images, which means when after we enhancing our image. We do not want the basic information changed. So we give high weight for the loss of content. And the picture also showed during the training the loose changes and the uh, evaluating matrix changes. Uh, for the evaluating we use the PSNR and SSRM which can PSNR can use to evaluate the improvement of the image, which is the rate of uh, noise to the information. And the SSRM can evaluate the changes of the image. Well, the low SSRM can show that the basic information in our images cannot, uh, didn't be changed a lot. And the next, to test our model, uh, the left of there are some photos show show the, the changes to of our image enhancement. And there is a test set that contains uh, 38 uh, full size pictures can be used to uh, test the, the visual effect. And we also calculate the PSNR, SSIM, and PS of our test uh, model. And, uh, uh, we compared it, it with the, the art of the, uh, the model. Uh, we can see that the matrix, is, uh, the, the, the effect is very close, and which can show that our model can also perform very well. And we also compared our model with uh, uh, gamma correction. The left image is the original image, and in the middle is a gamma correction, and the right is our model. We can see that our model performs better than the other two. And to conclude our project, when we trained an image enhancement model based on CNN with DPD data site, which could map the images in low quality to image in high quality. 
and by defining the object function as a combination of three loops, color, texture, and content, the model could effectively improve the quality of image. We also test the model performance with three metrics, showing that the model could still work well for full size images. And we compare the result with gamma correction, which shows that the CN could perform better. And there are also some coins of our model. Uh, the performance of model is limited by training this side and not as good as test when generalized to our devices because the images, low quality images in the this side is due from one device, which is a Sony device phone. And the processing speed of neural network is not as fast as digital signal per size. Uh, it has a high requirement for the software environment. And it's also not good at any specific task because it's a general image enhancement model. So that's all my presentation and I will show you some demo of it. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Next we will demonstrate the code for our project. As you can see, this is the uh, for the structure for our project. Uh, we use the hypergator to train run our model. Uh, and the environment we use is the Tyson default environment TensorFlow 2.4.1 without any further changes. Uh, there are two Jupyter notebooks, one used for train and one used for test. Uh, first, we talk about the train notebook. Uh, during the training, we need to use the a pre-trained VGT network, which is under this folder and also the uh, training date under this training. And all the models we stored will under the models directory and the, um, will under the model directory, yes. Uh, and so during the training, we first defined the function to load the date because we use batch learning. So uh, we need to define the batch size uh, in the of a function. All our hyperparameter was defined there. For example, the batch size is 30, learning rate. Uh, we train our model for 10,000 iterations and average 1,000 iterations. We will uh, store the model and evaluate them. So this is our, uh, this is how we define our model. And then the training process. It will take about an hour to train the model. As we can see, there are uh, 10 models stored and evaluated during the training. We, we, we plot this to a uh, picture to find the best uh, models we can use. As we can see, during, uh, in about a uh, 8,000 8, iterations, the uh, PSNR is larger and the loose is low. So based on these two pictures, we can select the best model and we stored it under the uh, model testing uh, directory used for the uh, test Jupyter notebook to test our model. So in test uh, notebook, we first define some helper function to define the model we use. And then there is a Test sets that uh, model test. Uh, there is a test that yet yeah, is testing that contains uh, 28 full size pictures. You can be used to test our day. So because we draw it on our uh, on, on the server, so we cannot uh, use uh, an, an image show to show it directly in Jupyter notebook. So we save save them under the directory. Uh, uh, there is some, uh, so this is the testing process. There is some warning about the flow 32 to unit 8, but it didn't influence the effect, final effect. Uh, so after uh, processing the, all the 28 photos, uh, we are evaluating the uh, uh, matrix of them, like PSLR, SSLM. So next we will uh, after we evaluate testing the, all the photos and we save them under the results fold, 
and then we can check the photo there and we can use this this is final results as we can see we, we store them in before and after and the processed photo for the before and after we match the photos original and the photos after process as we can see you can compare them directly uh, this is a photo after process so all the photos have we restore them in this form the left is the original photo and the right is the photos after process as we can see the per the photos after process is looks better so that's the Pro, that, that's a that, that's a code used in our project.